Great. Today, our viewer question is a little bit about meal prep, uh, breakfast specifically. Um, they are curious about maybe what you have for breakfast and kind of the best way to go about it in the morning, first thing when you step in that kitchen, kind of how to put together a good vegan breakfast. That's a very important question. So let's start about considering, do we need breakfast at all? And the answer really is no. Uh, when you get up in the morning, you could put on your running shoes and go out for a three mile run. Where's the energy in your muscles to do that? Well, it's already stored in there from the carbohydrates, from the starches and sugars that you've eaten over the uh, preceding days. Uh, your body has stored that in the form of glycogen in your muscles. And uh, you already have that energy in your in your mitochondria and in your muscle machinery there. So there's no reason that you have to run right downstairs and start shoving a bunch of sugars and starches into your mouth first thing in the morning. And it's very important to listen to your body. During the day, we're burning mostly carbohydrates, burning that glycogen, that sugar in our muscles. But at nighttime, when we lay down, we don't want our body temperature to fall because we're not burning so much energy. So our body changes a bit and we start burning more fats for energy while we're sleeping. So when you're sleeping, you're burning a fat rich mixture. When we're up and moving around, it's more of a carbohydrate mixture, mix, rich mixture. So why is that important? Because uh, if you've been burning a fat rich mixture all night, one thing that happens is that the fats and the ketones that are starting to come into your bloodstream because you are fasting while you're sleeping, uh, they suppress hunger. And so you get up in the morning and if you ask most people, when you first get up in the morning, are you starving to death? Are you hungry? Most people say, you know, doc, I'm not even that hungry in the morning. And the reason for that is that your body's been burning fats all night. You get up in the morning, still burning that fat rich mixture. Uh, and uh, there's no reason again that you have to you shove a bunch of sugars in your mouth. And as soon as you do eat lots of carbohydrates, the fat burning starts going way down there. So if you're trying to lose weight, make sense to put breakfast off, put those carbohydrates off as long as you can, keep burning that fat rich, fat rich mixture all morning. And for that reason, we get into the concept of intermittent fasting, where now more and more people, uh, instead of eating a big breakfast first thing in the morning, uh, they just drink water or vegetable broth. Uh, for the morning hours. And every morning that goes by, you burn a little bit more fat. We burn about a penny's weight of fat every hour uh, in that state. So it's perfectly okay just to drink water till noon or till you get hungry till 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the morning. Just drink water, or maybe a cup of herb tea. Anything with no calories in it is absolutely acceptable if you are not hungry. But if you are famished, if you are hungry by all means, my child eat, uh, your body's looking for those calories. Uh, so what should you have? I, I take breakfast as a time to get in my first fiber load of the day, uh, as well as all the antioxidants and phytonutrients that come in the berries in my diet, the blueberries and raspberries. And so I'm a big fan of muesli and, uh, the, and the quick cooking oat groats uh, that uh, you can cook up in five or 10 minutes really quick. And, 30 seconds in the Instapot, doesn't take very long. Uh, and then I will add in my wonderful berries. I'll put a couple of tablespoons of ground uh, flax and chia seeds. We've got a big jar of that for my omega-3s. Uh, and then we'll pour over some, uh, one of the plant milks. We're using a lot of oat milk and hemp milk these days. So my wife will make up cashew milk in the blender. Uh, and that's a perfectly fine breakfast to have. There's some starch with fiber in it. And again, the, those uh, ready-made cereals or the, or the cooked cereals are fine, along with the berries and the milk, uh, maybe a slice of banana, perfectly good way to start a, uh, a day. But if you don't want to do anything that heavy, uh, just have a cantaloupe, have some watermelon chunks, uh, have, a, have some grapes, or just uh, have some light fruit in the morning, especially if you plan on going out and doing anything really physical, going out for a run or a big long hike, I want to just do that with an emptier stomach. So just have some food for breakfast, absolutely appropriate. And once a week, uh, we celebrate a little bit on Sunday morning and my wife makes up a dynamite scrambled tofu. And, uh, and I am a sucker for that. And so I look forward to Sunday mornings and it's a once a week treat that we have. We wouldn't have it every morning, uh, but it's perfectly okay. 
And no one says you have to do a classic breakfast pattern at all. You can have some vegetable soup from last night. Uh, you can have some stir fried veggies left over, you have a bowl of chili left over, you have whatever you like in the morning. And if, and if you're just not hungry, it's okay just to drink water until you get hungry. So you've got a whole range of things to start your morning off with. Check in with your body. Everybody's different and you are different every day. Some days you'll be hungry, some days you won't. If you're not hungry, just drink water or tea till you get hungry. If you are hungry, make every bite count with lots of fiber and phytonutrients and uh, healthy nutrients that come from a whole food plant-based diet. If you do that, you'll get your morning off to a great start. So however you want to play it, uh, enjoy your breakfast. It's a, it's, a, it's a welcome to the day. So welcome yourself in a really creative and delicious way. Absolutely. That, that's, that's so much good information because I think people forget sometimes it is break, breakfast, br breaking the fast of which you explain so well what's happening with the body. And, you know, they say it's the most important meal of the day, but if you are truly not hungry, then don't eat, don't force yourself, you know? Um, and I love what you mentioned for breakfast. And also I'm, I'm the type of person that would have a, a leftover bowl of soup for breakfast or something. So I'm glad you mentioned that. That's, it, it, there's no rules here, right? Just, you know, no animals. <laughs> um, so thank you for all of that. I hope that's helpful uh, to our viewers out there. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see everybody next time. Take care, bye-bye. Hi everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.